Jason, you got a little cut there? You going to take a shot today? Yes, man. It's a physical game. It's always physical when we play them guys, but uh, it was fun. fun. Taiki, just how much of a boost of confidence is it to have a game like this that you've probably been wanting to have for a while? Uh, it means a lot to have a game like this, you know. I wanted to come in and help the team right away, especially after the two losses we had. So I just came in and did whatever I had to do to get the win. Marquise, you're now the single season record holder and assist for K-State. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's a blessing to be mentioned with those you know, guys. You know, Passing him, Steve Henson, um, is a blessing. Uh, it just shows like how unselfish you know, I am and he was you know, at K-State. Um, when you have a group of guys like you know, we have here, um, it's easy to get assists and it's easy um, to to make plays for others. Um, I give credit to my teammates for finishing from from last year and this year for helping me break that record. Um, I couldn't have done it without them. Were you aware that you were you were close going into this game or even midway through the game that you were getting close or did you know not know until after? No, nah, I didn't know until after, after they said it after the game, but that's, like I said, that's a blessing. Desi, this, did you guys kind of get back to your brand of basketball in that second half? Yeah, like Coach Tang said, come out there, just be aggressive. We had the double team, number four, then we just had to be us. You know, we, we got away from that. I think we got too, like, too over the top, you know what I mean? We had, I feel like we needed them L's even though we didn't want them L's. And now we're back to getting that greedy. Now we're back hungry. I feel like we're going to make a run again. we all playing together. We know they're going to key, key in on Keys and um, Keontae, so somebody – and a couple guys got others got to step up, so we got to keep playing together. Taiki, like what what part of your game kind of gets you going? Uh, probably say. <laughs> That's a great question. I know. Probably say when I see I'm the ball goes to the basket, dunk the ball. Just when I finish a mm -hmm. tough layup, especially from people like Keys and Des, means a lot. And I just that just I don't know that boosts me up a lot to just keep going. Desi, uh, I'm curious from your perspective, you've been coming off the bench the whole year. Taiki, obviously, before he came here, was a starter. A lot of minutes, a lot of points. Have you guys had conversations about trying to adjust to that role at all? I mean, we two guys, we don't really care if we start coming off the bench. We still got to bring energy, effort, and enthusiasm, you know what I mean? Taiki, one good player, you know what I'm saying? He stay ready. He been put in a lab, been in the work, and it finally come to light. You know what I mean? That's what happens when you trust your work. You know, never get down on yourself. Always believe in yourself and bet on yourself. So I feel like he did that tonight. And Marquise, just how much of a benefit is when you have two guys sitting next to you come off the bench and have the production they did? Uh, it's big time, man. We could have guys contribute to to the scoring load. Um, you know, they're going to key in on me and Keontae for the most part. So when you have guys like Desi and Taiki who could – who could finish and you know help us out is always good. But like Desi said, uh, these guys have been putting in work since the summer. I mean, Tyke been in the gym every morning shooting 500, you know, threes since the summertime. Desi been working seven in the morning. So, you know, when you trust your work and when you just stay ready, um, good things happen, and that's what they they've been doing. For any of the three of you, they got it within six points, and it seemed like you just flipped a switch and just pulled away. What what happened? to cause that spurt at the end of the game? Coach got on our butts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> 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 it's a defensive scheme. Yeah, we, we just locked in. We just locked in a little bit more. We know we knew how important this game was um, to get this win um, was big, and it gives us momentum going into Texas Tech. Um, you know, you can't give any life to, to TCU because they're a second half team, and they, they are capable of making any run at any given time. So. We just knew to, to stay focused um, no matter what the score was. Along those same lines, uh, I think they cut it to two early in the second half. And against Texas, you guys didn't answer there. But how important was it to just to main, manage to maintain the lead and not, not let them it get was, in front of you? It was big. I mean, like I said, you know, Coach, coach was, was on us in the huddle about taking care of the ball and, and locking in on the defensive end. Um, and once we came out that huddle, we, we focused. Whatever five guys was out there, focused and locked in. And from there, it was it was pretty much good. I mean, you talk about this a lot, but two logo threes from you tonight. I mean, how do you do it? I mean, I just be in a lab. I mean, <laughs> but I just.
just I just stay in the gym. I shoot those shots. I mean, I'm comfortable with Bramlage. So yeah, when I'm out there, I don't feel like there's a shot that I can't hit no matter where it's at. So uh, is, And, yeah, when you, like, hoist that last one with both feet on the logo, did you knew it was going in? Yeah, because <laughs> if it didn't. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, I mean, I practiced them shots, you know, before the game, uh, in the morning, days off. So, I mean. We huddle. Yeah. Practice I practice them shots every day. Has so. Steph reached out to you yet to talk about? Yeah, no, that would be crazy, though. He needs to. <laughs> Steph, hit me. Marquise, on top of the single season record, how does it feel to get this win? I mean, it's good. It always feels good to get a win underneath our belts, um, especially against a top 20 team. Uh, but, I mean, we we had, you know, Tyke step up, Desi step up, uh, Dave stepped up. So, you know, credit to, to my teammates because they really stepped up when, when we needed them. So, Tyke, you guys win the rebounding battle 40 to 28, and you had the team lead in rebounds. Just w what were you doing that was working so well offensively and defensively on the glass? Pretty much just starting in practice. You know, we do um, – Circle the, Circle the wagon. Man, we got to go in there and tussle everybody out to get a rebound. You know, Taj is helping us prepare for games like this, so I feel like that helped us out a lot. Shout out to the scout team, too, because they did a good job of preparing us, you know, this for this game with rebounding, giving energy inside of practice, um, and just, you know, making it tough for us in practice. Uh, they, they didn't let up each and every day. They gave us, you know, their best shot, and that's why we, we were so prepared and focused tonight. Man. Yeah, he does a lot of great things. He's like really matches my physicality, so we just go at it with each other and make each other better. Oh, he's gonna be a great player for a monster. great player. <laughs> great player. He's like a magnetic. I don't know what it is, but when a shot goes up, Taj is always there rebounding. What is like offensive rebounder or defensive rebounder? You can always catch Taj. You know, you, you remind me of myself, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Taiki, to be able to come off the bench um, and bring a lot of energy and, you know, effort plays on the glass, like how important is it to be able to do that um, considering your role this year where you don't know how many minutes you're going to get on a night-to-night -night basis? I mean, it was very important. You know, I went to coach the yesterday or two days ago, and I told him I want to do whatever it takes to help the team. So he gave me a chance, an opportunity, and uh, I did just that. Marquise, you've been on teams that have been on the NCAA tournament bubble before. Now that you, it looks like you guys are pretty solidly in, I'm wondering how much differently do you look ahead? Do you find yourself looking at bracket projections, and what do you think about solidly being in the field at this point? Honestly speaking, uh, I try not to focus on it because we have you know a couple games left. I try to be where my feet is at, um, but you know it's a blessing to even be mentioned um, in the bracket in March Madness um, and knowing that, you know, we are pretty in solid shape uh, for being in the tournament. But, I mean, we still have a lot to go. I'm trying to get to, you know, a two seed, one seed if possible um, in, a, in, in March Madness. But I don't, I don't look too far ahead. You guys really hadn't been in a position – like like you were going into this game, losing three of the last four. I know Coach was, was fairly angry and upset with how Saturday went. What what were the days leading up to this like practice wise? It was hard, difficult. We had to do circle the wagon a lot, a lot of rebounding. Cause we got out rebounding on the losses, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In the second half, the teams that we lost to, we they scored four to five points in the second half. So we try to limit that and try to just be us and just try to be aggressive on both ends of the floor. Glory be to God, man.